Hi, I'm Nelson and this is the IEOTS and General English Training. In this video, we are going to learn how to write an essay. To write an essay, you need a topic or something to write about. In this particular video, we are going to use the topic, discuss the advantages and disadvantages of the internet. Advantages are the good things while disadvantages are the bad things. To write an essay, you should show that you are organized. Your ideas should be organized into the introduction, the body, and general conclusion. How do you write the three parts of the essay? In this particular video, we are going to focus on the introduction. In another video, we shall learn how to write the body and the general conclusion. We have seen the words advantages and disadvantages. Now these two words have what we call synonyms. Synonyms in English mean different words, same meaning. Remember, a synonym means different word, same meaning. There are many other words you can use instead of advantages and disadvantages. For example, these are the advan these are the synonyms of advantages, pros, positives. Cons and negatives are synonyms of disadvantages. So in your essay, don't use the word advantage and disadvantages again because the word already appears uh, the word already appears in the question. Instead, you can use that. They usually go in pairs, advantages, disadvantages, pros, cons, positives, negatives, benefits, drawbacks, strengths, weaknesses, merits, demerits. Now you have very many synonyms, so there is no point in you repeating the word advantage or disadvantage. Now let's begin the introduction. When you are writing the introduction, you need uh, you, you need to, uh, to divide your introduction into parts. Now let's look at the parts of the introduction. The first part of the introduction is what you call the general statement. Whenever you are writing an essay, there you be, in the introduction you begin with a general statement. I'm going to give you some useful words and, and phrases which you can memorize. These can always help you if you have difficulty creating a topic, uh, creating a general statement, memorize them. As you can see, there is a dash. In the dash, you put the issue. The issue of, now in our topic, the issue is the internet. The issue is what you are talking about, the subject. The subject of discussion is the internet. The issue of the internet has caused the public debate among us. Usually in the IEOTS, you are given topics, uh, you are given topics which are controversial, which are debatable. Number two, in our time and age, much debate has taken place about the issue of the internet. Three, four, five, all of these are general statements. You need to pick only one in your introduction. Practice one, introduction, introduce the first side, the advantages of the internet and the disadvantages of the internet. Our topic has two sides. The first side is the side of the advantages. The second side is the side of disadvantages. Now to introduce the first side, you will need some kind of a linking phrase. These two linking phrases are very important. Remember, English is the language of linking phrases. You need ideas, but you have to connect them. Now, the linking phrases help you to link your ideas. Number one, some people say that. Number two, it is said that. These two help you to link your ideas. How? 
Other phrases for some people include most people, many people, a lot of people, numerous people, various people, a sizable percentage of people, a majority of people. So you don't have to use some people all the time. You can change and use any of these phrases. Practice two. Some people say that the internet has many advantages. It is said that the internet has many advantages. So you can say some people say. If you begin with some people, then you can use the verb say. If you begin with it, then you use the past participle of say. The past participle of say is said. Now there are two ways you can choose one. It is said that the internet has many advantages. Now instead of the word say, you can use other verbs. For example, number three, some people argue that. Number four, it is argued that there are many advantages of the internet. Now in your book, you can write all these complete sentences. Remember, you don't have to use the word advantages many times. You can change and use the different synonyms. Number five, believe. Number six, believed. Some people believe, it is believed that the internet has many advantages or several advantages. Seven, eight, you can also use suggest or suggested. You can use think, thought, contained, contended. Write the complete sentences. Some people think that... We are introducing the first side. Some people think that the internet has many advantages. Remember, don't use the word advantages many times. You can change it. It is thought that the internet has many merits. You can also use the verb proclaim or proclaimed. Practice three. Now write the introduction example there is a controversy over the issue of the internet some people say that it has many advantages we have the general statement and the first side remember you copy only one and the one one from each part the first part is the general statement the second part you introduce the first part the first part are the advantages some people say that it has many advantages now you don't have to use the word say, you don't have to use the word many, you don't have to use the word advantages. Use synonyms. Another example, I'm changing now the, uh, I'm changing the general statement. Recently, the issue of the internet has been brought into public focus. It is said that the internet has many advantages. Remember, you don't have to repeat the word many or advantages. Use synonyms. Synonyms of many, several, various, numerous. Now write your introduction. Our introduction now has two parts. The general statement and you introduce the first side. Only two parts of the introduction. Part three of the introduction are what we call the contrasting phrases. These show that you are moving from the first side to the second side. However, on the other hand, you have finished one hand, now you go to the other hand. Nonetheless, on the other side, you have finished one side of the advantages, now you are going to the other side of the disadvantages. Before you go to the other side, it's important to put a contrasting phrase to show the reader that now you are going to the other side. Or, nevertheless, on the contrary, these are called contrasting phrases. Number four, whereas on the other side while on the other side now be careful when you're writing if you use whereas and while before whereas and while put a comma don't put a comma after while or whereas however nonetheless nevertheless there is a comma and they begin with a full uh, uh, a capital letter whereas and while they are in the middle they mean although they mean however there is a comma before be careful with the punctuation when you are writing. Introduction There is a controversy over the issue of smoking. 
Some people say that smoking should be stopped. However, on the other hand, now this is an example. It has the third part. The third part is the contrasting phrase. Now, our introduction has three parts. The general statement, the first side, and the contrasting phrase. Practice four. Add a contrasting phrase to your introduction. Remember, my example, choose, uh, choose another other parts and you write them. Now our introduction has three parts. The general statement, the first side, and the contrasting phrase. A contrasting phrase shows that you are moving to the other side. Part four of the introduction. Introduce the second side. The second side, you can begin with a phrase with a say with the word others. Some people it is argued. What about others? Others say that. Now don't you don't have to use the word say. You can use verbs like claim, assert, believe, argue, proclaim, suggest, think. These verbs they have the same meaning with say. The verb say is a common verb. So there is no point in repeating. Don't use the word, actually don't use the word say in an essay. Use other verbs. They are here, one to seven. You can choose any of these. Others, we have finished the first side. We need a linking. We need a linking phrase. Others say that. For example, adding the second side. Others say that it has many disadvantages. It, the internet, has many advantages. We know that we are talking about the internet, so we don't have to repeat the word internet. We use the pronoun. Others, other people say. Now don't use the verb say, don't use the word many, don't use the word disadvantages in your essay. Use the synonyms that we have looked at in this essay. <coughs> Practice five. Add the second side to your introduction. Now, our introduction has four parts. The general statement, the first side, the contrasting phrase, and the second side. <clears throat> Remember, the second side is about the disadvantages. But before you mention the disadvantages, remember to put a linking. Others say that. Don't use common verbs like say and disadvantages or advantages. Use synonyms in your introduction. The next part is to respect both sides. We have people who believe in advantages and others disadvantages. Now all of them, people cannot have the same opinion. People usually have different opinions. So you have to show in your introduction that you have to respect, you have respect for people's opinion. So you, you will add one of these sentences, you will add one of these sentences to your introduction. Both opinions have strong reasons, both sides are reasonable. You will choose one and you add it to your introduction. For example, and others, it's quite natural for different people to have different views. Of course, people cannot have the same view. This issue is so controversial that people can have a rich an agreement or consensus. Both sides are supported by good reasons. Admittedly, there are advantages and disadvantages on both sides. You choose from number one up to eight. I've given you many such that you have a wide choice to pick from. For example, I've chosen both sides are reasonable. Practice six, add a sentence to respect both opinions. Now, our introduction has five parts. The first part is the general statement. The second part, you introduce the first side. The third part is the contrasting phrase. After the contrasting phrase, you go to the second. You go to the second side. After the second side, you put a sentence to show that you respect both opinions, both sides that you have listed above. Our next part of the introduction is you give your own opinion. To give your own opinion, there has to be a linking phrase. You say words like, in my opinion, as far as I am concerned, as for me, as I see it. These words show that you are giving your opinion. 
we have looked at the opinion of, uh, of some people and other people. What about yours? You can say, in my opinion, I agree. You agree with which side? The first side or the second side? I want you to notice that I don't use the word side. A side is the same as a point of view. So you agree with which side or with which point of view? The first or the second? Remember, the first is the advantages. The second side is for the disadvantages. You agree with which people? The people who believe in advantages or disadvantages. You give us your opinion. You will choose one of these phrases and add it to your introduction. Six, seven, eight. In my point of view, from my perspective, in my part, all these are signposts. They signal that I'm going to give my view. Now, I want you to see that I've used the word agree, agree. So you don't have to use the word agree all the time. We have synonyms of agree. You can use any of these phrases. I'm for, I'm, I'm in favor of, I side with, I share, I consent to, I approve of. These are the same as agree. So you don't have to say the word agree all the time. You can use any of these phrases. Point of view. The first point of view or the former. The first or former. The second or the latter. You don't have to say first, second all the time. You can use former to mean first, latter to mean second. Synonyms. You can call it a side, the first side, the second side, the first opinion, the second opinion, the first viewpoint, the second viewpoint, the first perspective, argument, view, point of view. These words are the same, so use them interchangeably, such that you don't use one word all the time. For example, in, for me I've chosen this one, in my part, I agree with the first point of view. Remember, you don't have to use the word agree, you don't have to use the word point of view, you can use the synonyms. Remember, this is writing, it's important that you copy down every, everything in this video. When you write this down, it will help you to memorize this easily. Practice 7. Adding a sentence, add a sentence to show your opinion. Now, our introduction has six parts. The first part of the introduction is the general statement, the first side, the contrasting phrase, the second side, you respect both opinion, and then you give your opinion. The last part of the introduction, you connect the introduction to the body. The reasons are presented below. The reasons are discussed below. This is the last part which is connecting the introduction to the body. Three Four. Finally, this is my complete introduction. The last part is the reasons are presented below. This is my introduction. What about yours? Practice 8. Discuss the advantages and disadvantages of the internet. Write your complete introduction. The complete introduction should have eight parts remember to write this down because this is a writing lesson it will help you to improve in the next video i'm going to teach you how to write the body and the general conclusion remember to like our pages to subscribe to our page on uh, to subscribe to our page on youtube